Good evening, Steve. Good evening, Edie. Good evening, everyone. Um, yeah. Uh, my name is Austin McDougall. I'm a local young farmer here in uh, the county. I grew up here, and uh, I'm here representing the uh, Flatirons Young Farmers Coalition, uh, which is our branch of the National yeah. Young Farmers Coalition. And uh, I just wanted to ask a few questions about agriculture and your uh, what you're going to pursue in terms of policies. Um, Colorado agriculture sector is pretty large um, and generates a lot of income for the state. Uh, we're coming up on a major transition here. Um, farmers over 55 outnumber under 35 uh, by a number of 12 to 1. And uh, nearly one third of those are 70 or older. And I'm just curious how we're going to transition um, and get people like me who are younger, farm, like people interested in farming, uh, access to affordable land. How we're going to get around things like student debt, our changing climate, uh, you know, water availability, lack of access to viable markets, etc. So I'm just curious on uh, what your policies might be regarding the yeah, agriculture sector and access for people like me in this big transition. So, so good question. Um, and uh, a few things. I mean, some of the issues you mentioned obviously intersect with all kinds of other issues like climate change, student debt, etc. We're going to be working on all those issues this session, uh, I'm certain of. Um, I'm happy to get into more details at some point with you on some of those. Specifically on ag. Um, last year, I believe it was, that we did a um, like an apprenticeship program. We funded a new program. Um, I don't think we threw nearly enough money into it. And hopefully we uh, will have some room to put more resources behind it this year. But essentially an apprenticeship program for young farmers uh, so that they can sort of get their start. Um, it, it's not going to solve the problem overnight, but I think it's a start. Um, the other thing that's really exciting is that in the Senate we um, confirm all of the governor's cabinet appointments. And the Department of Agriculture is a cabinet appointment for the state of Colorado. It's a really important job because so much of our economy relies on the ag industry. Uh, it's actually a, quite an international job because they're like dealing with commodities and trading and stuff all over the world. Um, but Typically, that's that's a, a kind of a, an old school rancher or an old school farmer. Uh, this time, it's a young woman. The first time, it's been a woman to be the commissioner of Ag in Colorado from Durango, and she actually maybe still works in your organization. Um, she is a young farmer, and that is what she's dedicated her life to: is advancing uh, agriculture for young people for the next generation. And we're gonna, I think, confirm her very soon, and she will be in charge of the department. Um, that will have a lot of authority over a lot of things we're talking about, and that, I'm super, super excited about that. But I think there are also will be legislative things we can do, and I've met with some of you guys, uh, the National Young Farmers Coalition, and I'd love to meet again and chat more about other options. I don't really have much more to add to that, except to say that um, at the legislature, we, especially this year, you're going to see some bills that will incentivize um, young professionals, whether they're teachers or healthcare providers or in the agriculture industry, to go to rural Colorado and set roots there. And we're going to incentivize them by relieving student loan debt and working with their communities um, you know, to, on any host of programs that would encourage um, the younger population, the younger professionals to move out to rural Colorado. And I know there's farming here in Boulder, and maybe that doesn't address your concerns, but we absolutely see that as um, a critical issue, is just populating rural Colorado with the talent that they need to stay viable and thriving. And so an ag is a part of that. Yeah, thanks.